Good morning, my name is Bob Driver and I'm production manager here at Dave Wilson Nursery. I'm a fourth generation nurseryman. Our family first started growing walnuts around 1900 and in 1910 my grandfather started his first nursery and that was Cover Nursery and then in 1948 my father Norman Driver joined Jesse Cover in his nursery business and then in 1958 dad started Driver Nursery. I managed Driver Nursery until 2002 and then sold it to Dave Wilson Nursery. So that's been a little bit of my journey through the walnut industry of California. This is where our nursery trees begin if we're growing walnuts and they happen to be black walnuts uh, that will be grafted later on to English walnut. These seed that are in this building are drying on the floor and they'll be in here for about two weeks until the husk dries down completely and then at that time they will be taken to the field and hand planted uh, in the nursery row and we actually hand measure them so that our seed will be growing a, a, a specified distance apart. We like to grow our grafted walnuts at 10 inches. We usually double plant all of our seed and uh, that will ensure that we have a good germination. These are not just ordinary black walnuts. They are selections that we have chosen over many years of testing. So these are not just your ordinary garden variety of black walnuts. Now we fast forward one year from the time the seed was planted last October and we now have walnut seedlings. These are the intermediate step on our production towards a two-year grafted tree. They can also be sold as seedlings for farmers that prefer to graft them in their fields. A lot of people ask the difference between Paradox and Black since they're growing in the same row, resulting from a open pollinated cross between English walnut and black walnut. The black walnut has a very narrow leaf and it uh, is distinctive. Its leaflet has narrow leaves compared to the Paradox which has an intermediate leaf and quite a bit longer. If this were an English tree, the leaves would be even wider. So the Paradox has a, a very intermediate width leaf compared to black or compared to English, which we don't have today. These two trees that we're looking at are sisters to one another, having grown from the same mother tree. The tree in front is Paradox, which is a hybrid cross between English and black. And the tree behind is the black walnut, which is just black times black. As you can see, there's a lot more vigor in the paradox, and that's why it's the preferred rootstock. We fast forward again to the second year and the final year of our walnut production cycle. These are representative of our grafted trees that will be dug and sold this winter, and the tree that we just, the field that we just came from, the seedling patch, is represented from the graft union down. This tree was grafted in March of this last year and everything growing from the bud of the graft from here on up has grown since March. We keep track of our grafters so that we can keep track of their graft takes because they are paid bonuses upon the quality of their work and we happen to know who the grafter was for this particular row and we happen to know who his tire was and uh, we know this, the lot number of the grafting wood. There's just an awful lot about this tree that we know in our data. This tree now is nearly one inch in diameter and that's kind of our target size. There will be a range of sizes below and above but we are shooting for a one inch tree. The tree has been tied every two weeks with a plastic tie to a square stake on the northwest side of the plant and that stake is tied to a wire um, and we take them up to the top of the stake and then we top the trees through the growing season uh, to give us multiple growing tips at the top which helps to increase the diameter of the tree down where we will be grading it when we dig it. So this is the finished product, or almost finished. The final step will be 
leaf defoliation with natural bifrost, and then we will be digging these trees in January and shipping them out from then to our growers.